हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एवीएलएस लेक्चर नंबर 35 पार्ट 1 टुडेस टॉपिक इज गिलबर्ट सेल सो लेट्स डेवलप दिस गिलबर्ट सेल कांसेप्ट राइट सो बेसिकली इट्स अ डिफरेंशियल एम्पलीफायर हुज गेन इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय अ कंट्रोल वोल्टेज वी कंट्रोल सो व्हाट वी हैव अप्लाइड ओवर हियर इज दैट वी कंट्रोल इज द वोल्टेज बीइंग अप्लाइड टू द गेट टर्मिनल ऑफ एम3 which will control the turning on and off of m3 transistor okay so basically it's a variable gain amplifier this differential amplifier over here is working as a variable gain amplifier so it's a symmetric network rd1 and rd2 are same m1 and m2 are matched transistors we have applied v in over here and v control we have uh, you know applied to the gate terminal of m3 transistor which will control the tail current iss and hence it controls the gain so basically in this topology the voltage gain av is equal to v out upon v in where will vary from zero okay will vary from zero if iss is zero to a maximum value which is you know uh, given by the voltage headroom limitations and the device dimensions okay so basically your gain will be variable from zero to a maximum value right now let's just see in detail what what is actually going on so since the circuit is symmetric id1 is equal to id2 which is equal to idss by 2 so when in, when we increase or decrease v control voltage your iss will also increase and decrease that means your id1 and id2 will also increase and decrease at the same time if drain currents are increasing or decreasing your gm will also increase and decrease and if gm increases or decreases then my voltage gain will also increase and decrease so we can say that we have built up a you know variable gain amplifier with the help of this differential amplifier pair now the circuit is called over here as a variable gain amplifier as i have already told you the gain can be varied by controlling the v control voltage so uh, we we require an amplifier whose gain can be varied from negative value to a positive value not from zero we want gain to be varied from negative value to a positive value so how do we do that so we have two differential amplifier stages which is providing a variable gain to the left hand side we have one circuit which is your current source is controlled by v control 1 and the current which is flowing is i1 and this is producing output v out 1 right and in the second circuit uh, we we are controlling the current source with a voltage v control 2 the current which is flowing is i2 and the output is v out of 2 so basically what are we trying to do over here is uh, this figure is showing you two differential pairs which will amplify the input with opposite gains how it will how it is possible so here we see v out 1 upon v in will be minus gmrd and for the second circuit we have v out 2 upon v in will be gmrd okay so one is providing you maximum negative gain other is providing you maximum positive gain where gm is the transconductance of each transistor in equilibrium right now if i1 and i2 vary in the opposite direction therefore your gain will also vary in the opposite direction yeah here it is if i1 and i2 vary in the opposite direction your gain for transistor i mean for the configuration over here left hand side will be different than on the right hand side okay so we have varied the gain from minimum to a maximum value minimum negative to maximum positive value here it is so but the question is how should v out 1 and v out 2 be combined to a single output right what we want from an amplifier from a variable gain amplifier that is gain can be varied from a negative value to a positive value now in this case they are individually providing okay this left hand side circuit is providing me individually negative gain and the right hand side circuit is providing me individually the positive gain so the next question is how to connect them together and generate a single output okay so let's study that so that is the concept of gilbert cell basically so your v out 1 and v out 2 are combined into a single output as shown over here so this is showing you figure 35.1.3 is showing you the summation of output voltages of two amplifiers so let's say you have a amplifier with a gain a1 and here also we have an amplifier with a gain a2 we are giving the inputs together to them and we are controlling these amplifiers gain with the help of v control 
and V control two respectively. As you can see, the outputs are been added to uh, at the output side. V out one has been added with V out two, and uh, we finally get this V out. So basically, the two voltages are summed, producing V out is equal to V out one plus V out two. So what is V out one? V out one is basically A one times uh, V in, where A one is the gain controlled by uh, V control one, plus A two times V in. A two is the gain controlled by V control two voltage. Okay, so that's the concept over here. We are combining the two outputs and we are calling it V out is equal to V out one plus V out two. And individually, A one and A two is controlled by the control voltages V control one and V control two. So conceptually, what we want to do is something like this. Now let me analyze the circuit over here again. Yeah. So here we have, uh, you know, V out one and V in ID one, ID two, uh, M one and M two transistor, and we have V control one, which is controlling the tail current I one. Similarly, on this side, we have ID three and ID four, M three and M four transistor, which is producing output V out two, and uh, the Tail current I two is controlled by V control two. So if I want to write V out one, if I want to write V out one, how do I how do I write that? V out one will be it's a differential output, right? It will be R D into I D one minus R D into I D two. Okay. So similarly, what will be V out two? V out two will be R D into I D three minus R D into I D four. So if I am now if I am adding them together, what we want we are Provided a solution of combining them, right? We are making V out one plus V out two. So here we have V out one and V out two. We are adding them together and combining into single output. So what is V out one minus V out? I mean V out one plus V out two equal to? It will be R D into I D one plus I D four. Okay, minus R D into I D two plus I D three. So you can check it out. This works this way. So therefore, rather than adding You know, uh, V out one and V out two. We will simply sort the drain terminals together, so that your ID one uh, plus ID four this equation comes. ID two plus ID three and ID one plus ID four directly. So rather than adding V out one and V out two, we'll simply sort their drain terminals. Okay, so that is what it looks like over here. So see, this is these two. We have to combine them together, right? This left hand side circuit and right hand side circuit. We have to combine in such a manner. That it will produce the output V out, which is V out one plus V out two. So what do we do? What we did over here like this. So what we did is we have combined the drain terminals. Uh, D one has been combined with D four, and D two is combined with D three. Okay, and then we have taking this uh, output from D one and uh, your D three, D three D two, and D one D two. Why we do that? Because um, Here, if you see the currents which are getting added up are ID one and ID four, okay, and ID two and three. That's why we are combining over here the drain terminals of D two and D three, and D one and D four, okay, so that your currents are being uh, added, and eventually it will mean that your voltage has been added at the output, okay. So let it. Uh, I think it's stuck a little. Let it open up. Yeah, so that is how the strategy is for the Gilbert cell. That is what we will exactly do over here. Okay, so this is my actual implementation of summation of output currents of the two amplifiers, right? So your actual implementation of thirty-five point one point three, which is this. Here, this concept summation of output voltages is shown over here. Okay, where drain terminals are sorted to sum the currents and generate the output voltage. So right now, if you see your ID one will be same as your ID two. I mean, ID one will be similar to your ID four, and ID one will be similar to your ID. I uh, ID three will be similar to your ID two. Right, and rest of the uh, circuit remains the same. V control one is controlling the tail current source I one, and V control two is controlling the tail current source I two. But only we have combined their, uh, you know, drain terminals together, right? And it's producing only one differential output now. So here in this, if we consider if I one is zero, 
then your output will be if i1 is 0 so this uh, differential pair will be of so your output will be gmrd okay uh, the, the 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 differential amplifier with m3 and m4 will work and it will produce the output gmrd if id2 is off if id2 is 0 then my uh, the differential amplifier with the transistors m1 and m2 will work and it will produce at the output minus gmrd okay and uh, then we have uh, minus gm already into v in we can write and in the first case we can write v out is equal to gm already into v in okay that is fine now uh, if i have i1 equal to i2 then what will be my output my output will be uh, the gain will be zero because uh, you know the output will be present but at this both the terminals it will be same so it will cancel out each other so your gain will drop to zero if I1 is equal to I2. Now, in this circuit, your V control one and V control two must change I1 and I2 into opposite direction so that your amplifier gain changes monotonically. But what circuit can vary two currents in the opposite direction? So this circuit, we call it as a differential pair. In the differential pair, we'll, we'll, we can vary the current in the opposite direction. So this will lead to a topology which is shown in the figure 35.1.5. Here it is. So this is the topology which we are talking about. Uh, this is called as a Gilbert cell. Okay. This is the same thing. Only thing is on the right hand side circuit, we have implemented the tail current source which actual transistors. Okay. Here also we have a transistor and uh, here we are connecting that together because we are making a differential pair and differential pair will can vary the current in the opposite direction correct so here is my gilbert cell the advantage of gilbert cell is that it provides a larger differential voltage gain okay and we have two differential amplifiers used over here and we have a better rejection of common mode signals we have a better rejection of common mode signals in case of a gilbert cell so earlier during the last discussion we have arrived up till here so here, what we were doing, we were adding the currents together. So ID1 and ID4 were same and ID2 and ID3 were similar. And uh, the output, uh, you know, was getting, the gain can be negative as well as positive, depending upon V control 1 and V control 2. But now we have to make I1 and I2 into opposite direction. So we'll implement this tail current source with a differential amplifier itself. So here you see, here we have, this is my Gilbert cell, okay? The circuit which you see in front of your screens is my Gilbert cell. So let's go through this. Now M1 and M2 will form a differential pair, correct? M3 and M4 will form a differential pair with a resistive load. And then we have a bottom differential pair, which is formed by M5 and M6. And again, we have a current source over here. So this also current source will be replaced by a uh, you know, can be replaced by a transistor. So right now V control one is controlling M5, V control two is controlling M6. Okay. So this entire configuration is my Gilbert cell. So I hope that you have understood the journey from a variable gain amplifier to a Gilbert cell. So we have just replaced this V I1 with a, a M5 transistor with a control voltage uh, V control one and I2 with a M6 transistor with a control voltage V control 2. And then we have connected that as a form of a differential pair because we want alternatively the current I1 and I2 to change in the opposite direction to provide the minimum as the maximum gain. So let's look into this a little bit of detail. So we have in a Gilbert cell, we have top differential pairs yeah, marked in uh, you know blue color oval shape over here. So these are the two top differential pairs, which is providing the current I1 and I2. So I1 and I2 is flowing through the transistor M5 and M6. And we have a bottom differential pair, which can change M I1 and I2 in the opposite direction. That is what we want actually. So that their gain can be negative as well as positive. And uh, yeah, uh, we have a bottom differential pair consisting of M5 and M6 transistor. So basically if I see carefully over here, I1, this is actually should be I3, not I2. It should be I3. And now I can call it, yeah, this is I3 actually. It should be I3. 
Okay. So basically, we can say that uh, you know the current. Uh, we are just saying that it's it's not the current which is passing through. Let me just go back a little. Yeah. What are we saying is this current I one is not flowing through I M one transistor. It's actually the tail current of this top differential pair. So I should have named it differently actually, but it's okay. This I one current is flowing through M M five transistor. And this I two current is flowing to M six transistor. This I two is not the current flowing to M two transistor. Okay, remember that. Yeah, we could say that it's actually uh, I S S by uh, half. We can say that I one will be I S S by half, and I two will be also I S S by half. So basically, your I one and I two representation shown over here is I one and I two, which is flowing to the bottom differential pair. Uh, v control one and V control two. Will change I one and I two in the opposite direction, such that the gain of the amplifier will change monotonically. So now, as per the differential amplifier concept, I one plus I two will be equal to I S S, where I S S is the constant current source. So here, the gain can be varied from, uh, you know, zero to a maximum value. Okay, zero to a maximum positive or a negative value. So if I one is zero over here. My V out will be equal to G M R D into V in. If my I one is zero, okay. If my I one is zero, my output will be G M R D into V in. And if my I two is zero over here, flowing to M six transistor, my output will be minus G M into R D into V in. And if I one is equal to I two, then my gain will be zero, okay. Then my gain will be zero because it will be cancelling out. The voltage will be. Same and that will be cancelling out over here. Fine. Now for a large V control one minus V control two voltages, there is a large difference in V control one and V control two. What will happen is all of the tail current ISS will be directed to one of the top differential amplifiers. That means your V out one, V out upon V in will be maximum. Whether it's whether it is most uh, positive or most negative value, that depends upon. Which of the top differential pairs it's working? It's on. So let's say that uh, you know it, it may happen that if V control one and V control two difference is too much, then entire ISS, let's say, is flowing through your uh, you know uh, top differential pair consisting of M one and M two. So in that case, what will happen is my output will be maximum uh, negative. Okay, if the right hand side differential pair is active, it will be maximum positive. Okay. And uh, if V control one and V control two are equal, your I one will be equal to I two. Now the gain will be zero because at both plus and minus terminal over your V out, the I mean the voltage is the same. So that's why the output will be zero and the gain will be zero. Now what are we doing is we are making a more compact circuit of this. This is the same circuit over here, right? We are making it more compact and redrawing it over here. Correct? So let us trace trace the circuit back. So we have M5 and M6 connected, correct? Their gate terminals are connected to V control. Okay, V control is nothing but V control one minus V control two, and we have ISS connected, right? Now node A, where is my node A? Node A is over here. So I have connected M1 transistor, and uh, to the node A I have connected M2 transistor also, source terminal. As it is, as you can see, source terminal is connected together. And the gate terminals are connected together to V. As you can see, gate terminals are connected together to V. So is, that is clear. Now the drain terminals are. Uh, uh, I mean, let us check it out. Drain terminal of M1 is going to the drain terminal of M4. Yeah, it is going. And the drain terminal of M2 is going to the drain terminal of M3. Here it is. The drain terminal of M3. Is going. I mean, uh, drain terminal of M3 is going to the drain terminal of M2. Here it is, and the output is taken across the, you know, uh, two across the resistors. I mean, uh, over here across uh, this is plus and this is minus. So here it is. Same. It is over here. Same over here. So over here, right? And at node B we have M3 and M4 connected, right? So the source terminal is a source terminal of M3 and M4 connected together. Correct, and the drain terminals are connected uh, as per given in this diagram over here. You see D3 and D4. So D3 D3 is connected to D2. So drain of three is connected to drain of two. 
and drain of four is connected to drain of one. So yeah, this is the same circuit, but it's a compact Gilbert cell. The circuit and the circuit shown above over here, which which is shown as top differential pair, bottom differential pair. It's the same circuit only, but in the compact form. Okay. And the input applied to the gate terminal of M3 and M4 is V, and here also it's V. So we have traced back the circuit, traced back the circuit is one and the same. So this is my simplified structure of Gilbert cell. So in a typical design, my M1 to M4 transistors are identical, and so are M5 and M6 transistors are also identical. So what is happening is the um, Gilbert cell senses the input by the top differential pair. And control the voltage by the bottom differential pair. Again, I repeat, Gilbert cell will sense the input voltage by the top differential pair over here. If you want to see, and control the voltage with the help of bottom differential pair. Okay, and they are widely used in analog and communication systems. They can Gilbert cell can operate as an analog voltage multiplier. That is, it can help in multiplying voltages also. It is acting as a voltage controlled variable gain amplifier. Right, because its gain can be varied from a uh, you know zero to a maximum negative and a maximum positive value. But there are some problems with Gilbert cell also. So Gilbert cell will consume a greater voltage headroom than a simple differential pair does. This is because the two differential pairs M1 and M2 and M3 and M4 are stacked on the top of the control differential pair. So as you can see, we have two differential pairs. uh formed by m1 m2 and m3 and m4 they are stacked over the top of my bottom differential pair so basically you will have a voltage headroom problem right and uh, the gain in 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 this gilbert cell the gain of each differential pair can be varied through its tail current okay the gain of each differential pair can be varied through its tail current and hence it acts as a variable gain amplifier so in short this figure is also the gilbert cell but this is my compact gilbert cell so if you draw anyone in the exam and explain it accordingly it will make absolutely it's absolutely fine okay so this is my, about my gilbert cell now uh, i hope if you have any query you can ask or else we can move ahead with the next topic which is again a gilbert cell only but just a few more points which has to be discussed over here so here in this case as i have already told you all that uh, the top differential pair will be responsible uh, for the uh, you know let me go over here ha huh. will be responsible for sensing the input voltage the top differential pair will be responsible for sensing the input voltage and the bottom differential pair will be responsible for controlling the current of the tail current source right now let's move on to the next one actually it's letting loading okay so let's go to the other document um which is explaining the gilbert cell part 2 so this will be evlsi lecture number 35.2 will continue in this so last time we have discussed about the gilbert cell and the circuit both the circuits to the left of your screen and the light are both the gilbert cell only the right one is a compact gilbert cell okay so what is a gilbert cell it's a variable gain amplifier basically differential amplifier only here we have top differential pair which will sense the input and the bottom differential pair will be controlling the tail current source current okay hence controlling the uh, voltage gain now uh, let's just discuss this further in arriving at the gilbert cell topology the gain of each differential pair can be varied through its tail current and therefore it works as a vga that is voltage gain amplifier but in this uh, figure 20 5.1.6 that is a compact gilbert cell the control voltage is applied to the bottom differential pair and the input voltage to the top differential pair intrins uh, you know uh, it is very very interesting that the order can be exchanged while still obtaining a voltage uh, gain amplifier that means we can apply the input to the bottom differential pair and we can apply the control voltage to the top differential pair still it will work as a gilbert cell let us see how so here is the scenario in this gilbert cell it is sensing the input by the bottom differential pair 
and we have provided the control voltage to the top differential pair. Okay, so this will also work. Let's see how it does. So here we have input applied to the bottom differential pair and the control voltage to the top of top differential pair. So basically the idea is to convert the input voltage to a current. Okay, by to control the input voltage to a current by means of M5 and M6 transistor and then route that current through M1 to M4 to the output nodes. So for a zero differential control voltage, if V out, uh, yeah, for zero differential control voltage, that is, if V control is zero, the output will be zero. Okay. So for the, if we if we see that uh, if V control voltage is very positive, if V control voltage is very much positive, then what will happen? Your M3 and M4 transistor, M1 and M M3 are on. Basically, what will happen if V control is positive? As you can see, positive is applied to one and two, and negative is applied to two and four. So if V control is very much positive, M1 and M2 will be, M1 and M3 will be on. So hence M4 and M, M2 can be shown as open circuit. So that is what we have shown over here. If my uh, V control is very much positive, only M1 and M3 will be working. And your output voltage will be GM56, I mean 506 because it is same. So we can call it GMN into RD into V. Output will be positive. Okay, so if you if you see the gain will be GMRD basically, and uh, this figure will show the signal part for the very positive value of V control. So for a very positive value of V control, M2 and M M3 will be behaving as a off. They are off and they had they are replaced by open circuit. Similarly, if V control becomes very much negative, then M3 and M M1 are off, M2 and M M4 are on. Correct. If they are negative, V control is negative, then M3, I mean M2 and M4 will be on, right? Yeah, M2 and M4 will be on. And at the output, what do we get? We get, uh, if, if my V control is very much negative, I will get M2 and M4 to be on. And my output will be minus of GM, uh, you know, GM5 or 6, because GM5 and GM6 are similar. So we can write minus GM into RD into V in. So this is the signal part for the same. So in the earlier case, if V control is very much positive, I have a positive gain. And in case my V control is very much negative, I have a negative gain. If V control is uh, zero, my output will be zero. Okay. So this is what the simple working of a Gilbert cell means. Let me revise it quickly once. Uh, what is a Gilbert cell? Gilbert cell is a differential amplifier with a variable gain, he, he, whose gain can be varied from a negative to a positive value. And over here, the input is applied to the top differential pair, and uh, the control voltage is applied to the bottom differential pair. And uh, if my uh, I1 con current, I1 current is uh, hogging all the current of ISS, then my M3 and M4 will be off, and my output will be negative. If my I2 is only flowing through the circuit, I1 is negligible, then we can say that my output gain is positive. And this is my compact Gilbert cell, which I've shown. And we have shown that uh, interchange, we can interchange the V in and V control voltage. Now the V control voltage is applied to the top differential pair and the V in voltage is applied to the bottom differential pair. Still the Gilbert cell will work perfectly fine. Okay, so Gilbert cell will provide you very high uh, gain at the same time, it will uh, let me show you the advantages once we, which we have discussed before. Yeah, here it is. So this Gilbert cell will have an advantage of giving you larger differential voltage gain because we have two differential amplifiers used over here and we have a better rejection of a common mode signal. Okay, so this is all about Gilbert cell, which we were talking about. Okay, so that's all for this session. Next time we will see a design of a telescopic cascode differential amplifier. So until then, have a good day and thank you.